A very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Sports Tonight. This is the first edition of Sports Tonight for the week. Promises to be exciting. We have a whole lot lined up for you on this edition of the show. It's going to be fun all the way. We'll be here for about 50 minutes, but um, those 50 minutes will be very rich, uh, very explosive, and we are very sure you will enjoy every bit of what we have on offer uh, for you. My name is Tony Bitoye. I want to start off the show tonight by saying thank you to you for joining us and also promise you that um, this show is uh, not going to waste your time. We are going to make it worth your while and uh, we are going to make it as interactive, as enjoyable as possible. Let me reintroduce to you my friends, uh, my partners. They will be with me uh, for most of the show tonight. At some point, we intend to bring in Yemi Adebayo. We will be talking about the FA Cup um, in England. The quarterfinal fixtures are out. As we speak, Arsenal are playing. Uh, hoping to make it um, to the next round. So we'll talk about it, uh, and then we'll also be talking about the UEFA Champions League that will be taking center stage uh, on Tuesday, tomorrow, and on Wednesday. Yemi Adebayo will be coming in later on to do justice to all of that. But before he comes, Yemi, uh, Toby Adepoju, uh, I was all, almost saying Mr. Adepoju, <laughs> Toby Adepoju <laughs> will be here, and of yeah. course, Oye Wuchimachuku, um, news editor, um, Sporting Live, and also a member of the Nigerian Football Federation Football Development Committee. Mm, that guy true. is a big man. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> when you to quiz um, with us um, on the program. So now, guys, I'm sure you're looking good. You had uh, um, a good weekend. But let, yep. yeah, not, I, don't, I don't know what to say. But <laughs> let me start off by asking you guys the highlight for, the, for you for the weekend. What was the standout event for you um, for the weekend yep. that you probably will love to talk about? I mean, it, it will surely come from the domestic league here. Yeah? Um, I, I would like to prefer um, to pick Rivers United for that amazing performance. But also, uh, we need to give kudos to Ekanemi. I think the biggest seller for me was Ekanemi. Uh, Rivers United Maya. is on the continent. Yeah, I Ekanemi agree. Ekanemi is on domestic scene. Yeah, so I mean, which, one are you, which one are you picking I, I, now? I, I think I will still go with Ekanemi. Ekanemi I mean, in the domestic... Yeah, uh, was it, was after, an interesting week? yeah. After a lot of, you know, discussion about them, dominant at home, especially when they return to Medigori. They've never lost a game at home. I mean... Uh, Fortress right uh, in Medigori, and they've just picked a point in over 40, you know, um, um, over in, about away games. in about five years. I mean, they, they haven't won in the last 68, you know, uh, away games. Game. So I think it's in 2000 or something. So, I mean, it, it was a big weekend. You know, that Aboso just about seven days ago talked about how his he team needs to, you around. know, respond well away from home. I think um, it was a it massive, was, um, massive weekend. Yeah, for we will spend some time. We will spend some time in our usual style on Mondays. We will spend some time to talk extensively uh, about the domestic league. But it was, a, it was a very strange weekend on the domestic scene. Only one team won at home yeah. out of six games. Uh, out of six games? One team won at home. One team won away. away and four and the other teams drawn games. Yeah. It's, 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 it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's getting interesting. Things are, things are changing. Yeah, um, it's getting interesting, Tony. And in addition to what Toby said, since 2002, when Academic gained promotion from the lower league, they have not won an away game. 2002? Yeah, 2002. I mean, uh, yeah. To, uh, no, 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 they, they, they came on, they went down. 2012, 2012, 2012 yeah. I beg your pardon, 2012. And last season, only two teams scored in Medugri, Sunshine Stars and MFM. Every other team... We are not able to and, we, and we're wondering you know, what so, kind of a team is there can so be. You I, can win I, on I your own games. And Boso, you also remember that uh, he once coached Abia Warriors, and you know there were a lot of um, you know interest generated before that game. Um, I, I think he, he has is quite popular in Omaha because of what he did. So I mean, it's homecoming for him and for for his team to have won uh, three points from that game is, is quite huge and. The, 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 there was a casualty. Maybe we'll talk about that. Yeah, we will we'll definitely talk about it. We will spend a lot of time um, to, to review the Nigeria Professional Football League. A lot of interesting stories that came out of it. Um, we told you that uh, one team won at home out of the six games. One team won away from home. There were consequences uh, because um, the team that lost at home um, have also told their coach to take off. Um, no, and there the, was the, coach, the coach resigned. Okay, the coach resigned. Okay, sorry, not take off. The coach resigned. Um, one of the teams that drew at home also said, look, um, our coach resigned. You know, so a lot of casualties too. Uh, very interesting casualties. We'll talk about all of those issues um, on the program tonight. We will also be talking about our teams on the continent. It was 50-50 for us um, over the weekend. 50% success, 50% failure. And... Uh, uh, we will talk about it 
Uh, interestingly, is in the Cup Champions League that we had on represent record, yep. uh, which was uh, they are like the more difficult competition. Yep. And the, the easier one is where our and it's teams... the biggest. If you get to win yeah. millions of dollars. All right. Really. So both Rangers and Rivers United are now smelling the group phase. They can now smell yeah, the group phase of, of the Cup Champions League. We'll talk extensively about all of those issues on uh, sports tonight, this, um, this um, Monday. But there's something interesting that we need to start off the show with tonight. It's really interesting, and that's uh, the first issue we will tackle um, on sports tonight this Monday. The Lagos State government, the sports-loving governor of Lagos State, um, Akio Miambode, has said that um, the Lagos State government will be interested in taking over the sports city. That's the National Stadium, Sule Lagos. The National Stadium, Sule Lagos, has generated a lot of interest down the years because it is in a terrible state of disrepair. And people have been asking questions from the federal government about what they intend to do um, about an edifice as magnificent as the National Stadium in Lagos. You won't believe that this is where we won our first Nations Cup in yep. 1980, uh, hosted the Nations Cup in 2000, and uh, I've had a lot of memorable events, the All-Africa Games and all of that. That stadium right now is something that you don't want to see. But the Lagos State government says, look, we are interested in taking this over, and that, for me, would be good news. For a lot of time here in Oye, we had advocated that the Lagos State government could take this thing over, turn yeah. it around, and then let football return home. Because Lagos <laughs> and football, they are the same. Yeah, so, you, you know, I, I think this has corroborated um, our stance last week that um, I think we have a serious issue of leadership. Uh, it, it, it took um, the governor, Governor Akio Mambode, uh, going to Abuja to go and see the Honorable Minister, you know, to, to meet this idea. So it was not the other way around. Uh, I, I, it was the governor who suggested, and, you know, quite rightly, we cannot um, sit down, fold our arms, and allow such an edifice go into, you know, uh, absolute uh, state of decay. Um, like you said, uh, some of the swimming pools have been taken over by, you know, frogs and toads. Um, that body minister renovated the swimming pools yes, not long ago. Yes, but, but apart from the swimming pool, there, were other, there are other facilities that have not been put to any use you know, and they are in a terrible state. state, of, the, state the, of, the indoor, the, the, the state squash, the tennis decay. courts. You know, and something needed to be done. So we, we have to really commend the governor for taking up the initiative. I mean, the Tesla Balogun is opposite the stadium. And, you know, it's like um, a twist of fortune. It's, one is well maintained, and the other one has been well, left. When, when the other one was know. in good use, the other one was and not when, being used. When, now that the other one is now in use, the other one is not being used. And when you consider the fact that uh, the Super Eagles prefer to play on grass pitch, uh, which uh, the National Stadium Solidarity has, then, I mean, he, 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 you stand to gain a lot, a lot economically. And the governor knows that... Um, if that stadium is put into use, it will boost the economy of the state. So it's a win-win situation for Lagos State, and we, we must support it. Uh, let, let me just um, take you back a few years and, and tell you that um, when uh, Balaji Abdullahi was first minister, yep. there was the idea that Lagos State muted at that time to mm. take over um, the national stadium. Although at that time, some policies came into it. Yep. Lagos was controlled by a party. Yeah in the opposition yep. and so and i don't know what other, in i don't know what other reasons came up it didn't fly they didn't give it to lagos to maintain but now the lagos state government and the government at the center um on are on the same, same page. page so it's a lot easier for the lagos state government to ask to take over the national stadium and for the federal government to say okay let's see what you can make out of it i mean it is very key and um i mean you talk about we won our first national cup in 1980 in the stadium i think west will look back and say this is where you achieve a lot as, as manager and you want to come back and do a lot of documentary and you saw that, you know, um, and if it be, been, been in a bad situation. I think the last time there was a, a football match, that's what it was about 13 years ago. And I mean, I, I was, when I saw the story, I could recall in the early 2000s, when, when I was still growing up, you know, I saw the African Cup of Nations, Ghana and Jaco, hosted in 2000. Mm. And this was a stadium, you know, I, I always look forward to be part of a live game. And I mean, it is very sad. A lot, a, a, a lot of things, a lot of great players that have played inside the stadium and a lot of things. I mean, this is very big for Lagos State and also for Nigeria as a whole. You mentioned Tessun Balogun, a lot of facilities there. If we can try and renovate this, this stadium, it's coming to life. It will give, you know, athletics and footballers more facility to train. 
and more equipment, and also to bring football back to Lagos. Because I mean, I think it would be very nice to see Super Eagles play in Lagos. I mean, like when you said, Super Eagles prefer to play the, the, on the, the grass the, pitch. Before you, guys, if, before you guys talk about Super Eagles yeah. coming back to play, in it, Lagos, it, it, it's not all about the, Super Eagles. The, football no, no, no. I understand your point. The first thing we have to do is to fix that stadium, because the Lagos government will take it over, fix it, yep. um, do a lot of tests to see whether the stadium can still endure. Um, because for a long time no. there was no use, no, it, it, there could be possi yeah. the possibility of DK, no, it, it um, and there should be a lot of integrity tests on it whether that stadium can still withstand no, that pressure that they used to it, in it, those days. It's not going to be. It's not going to be just removing the pitch and pull up the seats. There will be a lot of check. You know, like you said, it has not been used for a couple of years now. So maybe Is this a situation where you have to reduce the capacity. Try and work on it, 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 a lot of things need to be done. Can, it, it, can something still be done? Be a, it, it, it will be a lot just, of work. You have to do a lot of work on that thing before it can be used. It's not just, not just the pitch. No, you, you can trust uh, Lagos State Government to do a fine job. You know, I mean, they have they have shown that um, they have the capacity to transform, you know, um, you know, facilities into world class, uh, you know, ones. And um, it's, it's, it, they have the structure. Uh, it's a question of looking at um, the edifice, the experts. Looking at various, not, not only the member, mm. you have the squash courts, um, you have the indoor facilities where the basketball, you know, um, is being played. And, and, it, and for it, me, more importantly as know, well, the pitch. Absolutely. So I, I think they, they, they have the capacity. And they, tracks. Uh, a lot of things. It's a you know, the, the the tracks is, in, is in shambles, you know. So it's, it's a lot of work and a lot of money, a lot of investment oh. will be pumped into, you know, revamping the stadium. And we can also trust that... Um, they, they, they can get their money back, especially for the maintenance. What we have had in the past, Tony, is that um, money comes in and they are not used for maintenance. You know, all those churches um, who hold, um, you know, um, uh, programs using that edifice, where does the money go to? And don't forget, mm -hmm. even every day, there's a lot of activities around Absolutely. the stadium. People pay to come into the stadium. People pay to use some facilities. So Weekends. Th there's, there's a lot of money that comes mm -hmm. into from, from the national stadium. So where does it go to? All right, guys, um, just a word very quickly. Um, we're, we're talking about um, re re renovating Lagos, putting it back to life. The one that is even in Abuja <laughs> is, is turning into something else, yep. gradually turning into something else. The Eagles can't play there. I, I wonder what kind of national stadium we call it in Abuja. Yeah. The Eagles can't play there. The pitch is in a terrible state. Practice pitches are not, not, nothing to write them about. It's, so I don't understand what is going on. Who will, who will now go to talk to the <laughs> minister? Oh. to appeal to him to take over Abuja. <laughs> if Lagos said, okay, Lagos have been magnanimous, yeah. they want to take over Lagos, yeah. we will talk to the minister to take over Abuja. Ab Abuja won't be very difficult because of um, the structure of the country, federal capital. I mean, uh, that means government needs to do a lot and the minister needs to do a lot also. Don't forget a couple of weeks I was, I was at that stadium yeah. for the Super Cup. I mean, it was, it a, was, a, terrible, terrible it was state. a terrible state for, for even for the federation to host the Super Cup. I mean, a lot of people condemn everyone, the, everyone, everyone condemn the NFL for even taking the Federation Cup because to him, the Super Cup, I beg your pardon, to that pitch. To him, but and it's supposed to be our main pitch in Nigeria. To him, you always take such you know um, competition uh, to one of our biggest you know um, edi a, one of our biggest structure in Nigeria. You can't take the Super Cup to Package B. Package B, there's no seat. It's, it's just for training grounds. So how do you take the Super Cup? So you can't also blame the NFL for taking. I mean, the Super Cup to the Abuja National Stadium. It season, should be kept. It, sh it should be. I, I, I got in and I almost burst into tears. It, it, final word from me on this one. So we you, are talking about Lagos. We are appreciating so, what so the Lagos so government so is doing. So you know why I'm laughing. About two or three years ago, that stadium was um, you know, uh, unveiled by the minister, past minister. You know, top musicians were brought in to come and play. After we renovated the pitch. After we renovated the pitch. And uh, three years later, what happened? They have to call another unveiling. <laughs> because the pitch now is in a terrible state. But, but on a more serious note, Tony, ap Tony, apart from the pitch, have you seen this full structure? Everywhere is dirty. A lot of. St if, <laughs> if, if a. Look, let me tell you one thing about a, a, a stadium, a st the structure of a stadium. The most important structure, because of the football that is being played there, yep. is the pitch. You know, you can still manage a few of the other things. But if the pitch is good, you can still put the stadium. Activities will come in. So, so when that stadium was, you know, after it was built, you know, for the All, All, African, All African Games, Games there were debates you know, about um, how to maintain the stadium. Julius Berger had a contract Berger to had do a it. Contract. We don't know what happened. No, at, at some point, look, Nigerian Society of Engineers told the former president that, look, Nigerian engineers can do the job as well as Julius Berger. The amount of money that we were given, that was supposed to be paid to Berger was in billions of Naira. And the local engineer said, look, give us the contract, 
give it to the Nigerian, to the Nigerians, yeah. we will maintain it. And if if government cannot maintain, they, they privatize the stadium. You know, give it to people to you know, as long as it's been maintained, yeah. as long mm. as the facilities are intact. I think that's what um, the, that, that's the, the, the practice uh, elsewhere in the world. Let, let, let's see what the Lagos State government will make of it. Because a club like, like Arsenal, if you if you go on sightseeing, I learned. You have, no, to pay, of course, you have to pay some money of course, to go in there. That's how they yeah, generate but, but, but money. Then they have been able to turn their stadium into um, a tourist attraction. Well, we can do that. They, they pass trophies. They pass players. You know, There's a lot of things that you want to see when you go there. What do you want to see when you go to Abuja? What story will Abuja Stadium tell we, you? We, because we decided not to put the That's stadium. That's what I'm saying. That is it. The, Lagos, the National Stadium in Lagos now. There's a lot I'm of sure, stories around it. I'm sure the Lagos government know that there are a lot of interesting stories around yeah. it. And they will use the stadium to tell the stories. National uh, All Africa Games in 1973, you know, mm -hmm. Nations Cup in, in 1980. Abu a lot of these stories. Abu Abuja, that stadium hosted the All African Games. And they were, then they, what story are they going to tell about it? Do they even remember? Anyway, that's food for thought, but I hope that uh, um, we will not just be accused of criticizing all the time, but this is something that we hope government can look into and, uh, and come up with something um, very reasonable.